Tanya and Terrell, 18-year-old Stephen Montano is in critical condition at a local hospital, but his bond hearing is expected to get underway any minute regardless. Police say on Wednesday afternoon, Montano was armed with a gun and chasing a woman as Officer Andres Vasquez Lasso tried to stop him on foot. Montano allegedly turned and shot the 32-year-old officer repeatedly at close range. Montano was shot in the head in an exchange of gunfire with Officer Vasquez Lasso. So Montano has a history with police. This mugshot taken after he was arrested last year in July for allegedly running from a stolen car which was involved in an earlier crime. He was charged with resisting or obstructing an officer, but the charges were later dropped. As we learn more facts about the case uh, and about his history from July through the present, um, we need to see where the ball was dropped because clearly this individual is committed to being a terror in his neighborhood. Clearly he has no regard for human life, least of all the lives of the officers trying to protect our communities. In a statement, the Cook County State's Attorney says the defendant, who was a passenger in the vehicle, was not charged with a felony because the evidence does not support a charge of gun possession for this offender. Now, in relation to the police shooting, prosecutors are piling on multiple felony and misdemeanor counts, including first-degree murder, assault, and interfering with a domestic violence call. And we do expect to hear more details about the shooting in court. Meanwhile, the State's Attorney's Office tells us this morning that it is common to hold hearings like this without the defendant present. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.